Hello everyone! Today we're going to be cleaning up the farm and then doing some of that awesome damage done by multiplayer because all the players I was playing with here mostly just made a mess of things. Also we're going to try and find that dinosaur egg which I'm pretty sure is going to show up eventually. The first thing I need to do is figure out exactly what I want to do to my farm. Clearly I probably need to remove some of these. These are all very expensive with money I didn't want to spend but hey multiplayer is awesome isn't it? Actually if I'm lucky these will be worth some money. How do I even remove these? Uh, there we go. One up, two up. All right. If I get a little bit of money for these back, I'll be okay with that. But I might as well at least keep one of them. Uh, that's good enough for now. I don't want to waste too much time with my house because I've got productive stuff to be doing outside. I'm pretty sure of that. Now, hopefully I can sell these and I can't. Outstanding. Well, they're going to go sit in a chest for the rest of their life until I figure out a good use for those. They're probably just going to get tossed in the pond at some point. Okay, they're getting tossed in the pond right now because I don't even have any room. I could think of better uses for my money, but I've also spent it on a lot stupider stuff. While we're at it, let's just throw basically everything in there. That too, why not? It's been quite a while since I've even played on this farm, so I can't remember what I was even doing. My Junimos are definitely harvesting some star food, so there's some money to be made. Pigs are doing what pigs do best. Their best Pam imitation. But let's see what these guys have. Nothing. And do these guys have anything? Ah, oh, we got some melons done today. Not the star fruit. Those look like a few days away. It is the 14th of summer, so they're probably a few days. Someone's house. I wonder if they got anything good in there for me. I don't have any mods on right now, so I can't tell what they have. They did change their flooring and everything. That house looks not bad. I've definitely got some room for more planting down here if I want to, and I think I just might. I don't know what I'm going to plant. Maybe some more melons. I think they should be done by the end of summer. Anyways, we got to stop by Robin real quick, take care of some stuff, and then we're going to go find a dinosaur egg. Good morning, Robin. I require your services. Because we're going to get rid of these cabins that are just taking up room, and I don't want players to ever come back on my farm again and ruin it like they did. So we'll just go ahead and kind of go like that. Uh, this will permanently remove Donovan from the game. Uh, yeah, sorry Donovan, but... And who else do we have on this farm? We had a cabin here. This was... Ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, goodbye. Right, hiding way over in the corner was Avocado. Goodbye, Avocado. No? No more potential for idiots on my farm. Just me. And I'm certainly no idiot, so I've got this under control. Actually, I'm gonna look through their stuff real quick in case they had anything good. Then I'm gonna go find me a dinosaur egg or something. Actually, while I'm here, I should actually look around. It is Sunday, after all. Sunday is a good day for artifacts. Uh, unless I'm trying to make a video or be productive. In that case, there'll be no artifacts ever to be found. It might be a bad luck day, in all fairness. I do have lucky lunches, which can increase my luck hugely. And I do have the good luck charm. I think I have the good luck charm. Do I have the good luck charm? Oh, Pam is still a garbage can on this file. That's not supposed to be there. I don't have the good luck charm on this. I gotta catch this up, because with good luck, I'll find a lot more items and just do better overall. And that's important to getting 100% of everything done. Okay, did this person have anything worth it? Uh, they got a bunch of fish that I could sell. Nothing that's really super valuable. Trout soup. Nope. Okay. Let's try the one in the woods. What do they have? What can I steal from them? It's got to be something really worth the money. Uh, they did find a bug head, which is interesting. They must have found that fishing. Omni geodes. Okay, nothing hugely worth it there. One more chest to go. Given the fact that I do have a little over a million gold, I don't really need to be selling a lot of stuff. It just isn't really necessary at this point, and I've got better ways of making money. One ancient seed, a wedding ring. Hmm. Interesting. wonder what those... I don't know if you can actually sell them, but they might be worth some good money. Uh, I need to check the greenhouse real quick in case I got some valuables in there. Right as the pig blocks away. Way to go. Happens every single time. <laughs> yeah, birds are trapped. Okay, ancient fruit, but I'm way too lazy to deal with that, so I just want to go fishing. Before I do, I'm not sure if that can even be anything I need at this point, but I gotta check the artifacts anyway. This is a good way to get everything done. Just check as you go. It can't hurt. You really have nothing to lose. You might find something extraordinarily rare that you might not otherwise find. What is Lewis doing here and why is the water so green? Say, are you growing any blueberries on your farm? I am not. I do enjoy a fresh blueberry. I don't enjoy this conversation, so I'm going over here. I'm gonna eat a lucky lunch for this, because that boosts the luck up way beyond anything that natural luck could ever do. Just like that, we're ready to go. First fish is going to be everything I want. Super valuable fish plus a dinosaur egg. Easy. Or maybe not. It was a tilapia and no treasure chest. Which is kind of funny because I have a lot of luck and it's $1,000 a cast because I'm using the right bait. The right lure. $1,000 a cast that way I catch lots of treasure. Despite the fact that I don't catch any treasure. Wow, look at that. Two big geodes and two regular geodes. They're all round, but not what I'm looking for. One puffer fish comes with two stones. I just remembered I was going to replant stuff on my farm, so I'm going to go do that. I'm so organized today. That's why my farm is so neatly, cleanly organized. Hi Pierre, how are you? Your wife had an affair. 
Your daughter's not yours. Ah, it's hot in here. Okay, good. Turn on your AC then. Now we're going to do some... I don't know what we want to do for this. Usually I just do melons because they're the most valuable and I think I'm going to continue that. Red cabbage might be interesting. I never really do a lot of that. Let's do some red cabbage. 100 gold each. Uh, I don't know how many spaces I have down there. I'm going to assume 300 and then we're going to have to plant 300. And also fertilizer. Fertilize everything you can ever. While you're at it, fertilize the entire town. The more kids you have, the better. Speak of which, good morning, Jody. How's your husband? What in the world am I going to make for dinner? The problems you have. Sigh. Uh, Kent, your wife's having a meltdown. I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. I don't know, get a job, get a hobby. I'm used to having more structure in my day. Well, put some structure in your day then. I don't know what to tell you. My horse is wearing a hat. Even he's more interesting than you are. Okay, first things first, let's throw everything we can in the bin, geodes included. Yeah, that's right, I'm selling geodes because I don't want them. Now, I'm not going to plant anything up here, that's all fine the way it is, that's just nice star fruit, that's going to be nice and valuable. Down here is what I want to clean up, because there's a whole bunch of empty real estate. And the mushroom trees are going everywhere too, which is kind of interesting, but I kind of wanted that for a while. Now that they're there though, I'm not so sure I do. But anyways, here we go again. In hindsight, I probably should have blown up the cabins after everyone planted for me. I should have brought players in to do all this work for me, but I didn't think about that. So here I am, enjoying this process once again for the millionth time. And conveniently, since I didn't remember to bring my axe down here, I'm just going to plant around the mushroom trees, because mushroom trees need space anyways. Not sure what I'm going to do with them, but at some point I'll think of something amusing. Any ideas out there? Do let me know. Alright, I think I got all the spaces hoed, so you know what that means. It's time for the planting part, which is even more exciting than the hoeing part. To be fair, it actually is. I just gotta be quick with this because I don't have a ton of time in the day. Time does go a lot slower in single player though. On multiplayer, time goes so fast because time doesn't ever pause. Even when you open a menu on multiplayer, doesn't matter. Time's still going. Makes it very hard, you gotta keep very organized. I was a little off on my guesstimate, I've got 75 left over, but that's okay, because I have extras I can plant at a later date. And that's the benefit of being rich, I can just buy extra of everything, and it's not really going to matter. I'll plant them at a later date, whatever, I'll make money off these, and that's going to be that. Rich life. Moving forward with this farm, I'm a little undecided. Everything's changed now since the multiplayer update, there's new stuff I now have to complete, new stuff I have to find and gather, and I'm not sure if I want to do a multiplayer style or not. This might turn into more of a multiplayer series where I'll bring different players on every once in a while to help me whatever find and finish stuff legitimately. But we'll see. That's a tricky thing to do in itself because every time I bring other players on, they tend to bring a lot of mods uh, with them. Some of them help, some of them don't help. So it's kind of a tricky thing to do. It could all be entertaining, but I'm a little undecided. So what are your guys' thoughts on how to continue this farm? Should I bring new players on for every time I want to play this one? If so, what do we do? How do we do it? I'm undecided. My concern is everyone's just going to bring mods on and they're going to spawn a bunch of crap into existence or to spend all my money and be counterproductive, which isn't the end of the world, but it would be nice to actually complete this the legitimate way. You know what, while we're at it, I might as well plant these over here. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I lied. Get over it. Whoops. Because I might as well plant a few more of these, eat up a little more of the leftovers, because I know I'm never going to get to planting these if I don't. Should I deal with the greenhouse today? I don't really have time. Let's collect a few truffles. I like the truffles. Also, I gotta replace the gate. Do I have any wood on me? I don't. Well, gate might not get replaced, but we'll get the truffles at least. Actually, I bet this person had wood on them. Their contribution will be remembered forever. I think it's two pieces of wood for ten pieces of wood for a gate. All right. What happened to my gates anyway? I guess they probably destroyed it when they were here. Again, go multiplayer. Uh, I don't even have a fence up there anymore, but whatever. Here we go. The farm's looking better than ever. The mushroom trees have actually crossed the fence. I didn't even know they could do that. Uh, we're just going to go back to back gates here because... Okay, that didn't work at all, but whatever. Fence is closed. Pigs can't get out to the left. I'm happy. All right, truffles in the bin. Uh, where did I put seeds? I think it was red chest, wasn't it? Yeah, good enough. Seeds in there. Truffles over there. Uh, wood was... I think yellow is building materials. Look at me. Color-coded chests and everything. I'm learning. Slowly. I've only been on this file for like 200 hours and eventually I'll get there. Inside of my house is still a bit of a mess. Not too bad. They could have at least got me a better TV out of everything they did. But all things considered, it wasn't that bad. I only lost about half of my hard-earned money. Hard-earned legitimate money. But like I said, that's not the end of the world. For entertainment's sake, 12,000 gold for the day. Melons weren't worth much because there wasn't a lot of them. The fish are worth that much. Other crap. 
Not much. No dinosaur egg found, but I did make a little bit of money and cleaned up the farm. I more or less undid the damage of multiplayer. Because having people on my farm actually just was counterproductive. In the end, I don't think they got me anything. They just spent a bunch of money and then I kicked them out of the game. Oh, the starfruit are ready to go today, but the Jinmos won't actually harvest in the rain. Maybe that's because they're not paid, but that's not my problem. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this one. But like I said, let me know what you guys want to see with this farm moving forward. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. If you think I should bring players on every time to see what happens, hopefully make progress, let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching.